Welcome to The Good, The Bad, The TNA Impact for Impact Wrestling, February 16th, 2012. And this week's Impact, I'll be, I'll be honest, after the, after the pay-per-view, which in my mind only had a few good matches on it, and, well, only a couple storylines I really cared about, so I kind of just, it was kind of just ho-hum to me on the pay-per-view, but you had some excellent matches in there, uh, especially with Alex Shelley and Austin Aries and the, and the uh, Kazarian AJ Styles match. Uh, that's pretty much all I'm going to say about uh, against all odds here because I didn't really care much for that pay-per-view outside those couple matches. Um, but uh, TNA Impact for this week, I personally thought was extremely well done and I thought they did what they needed to do. Um, there was really the only thing I didn't truly like about it, and about it was um, Eric, the Eric Young deal, but then again I think Eric Young has kind of run his course almost like Santino Morell has run his course at this point in time, so it was pretty, that was pretty much the only thing I did end up liking about it. Uh, I ended, I did really like the fact that they were they were ending this whole Jeff Hardy, uh, Bobby Roode feud go on Impact instead of waiting another pay per view to do it. Um, they went off, had a no disqualification match for the title. It went straight right at the beginning of the show. Um, great match. Great action. Uh, I like the fact that they brought Kurt Angle in there. This is somebody for Jeff Hardy to continue to feud with. While Bobby Roode goes off to another feud, I'll get into that one a little bit later on. And the, not, the Knockouts division, uh, having a battle royal to determine the number one contender. I, I actually like the fact that they uh, picked Madison Rain here because you would seen some bickering between the two recently uh, uh, between her and Gail Kim and, and it does seem it does seem to fit there it does seem as if they're trying to um, lessen Mickey James's role at this point in time maybe this is for a heel turn coming up or for something completely different I don't know but I, I don't mind it in this case uh, I still think they could go with a Mickey James and Gail Kim feud because nothing's really been settled but uh, I don't mind the feud with, that's probably going to be happening at least for the next month with Madison Rain and uh, Gail Kim. So that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. There it wasn't a bad match. I I, uh, I liked where they're going with this feud. Um, I'm also liking the fact that you know next week you're going to have you're going to have uh, Magnus and Samoa Joe to take, defending their tag titles in the rematch with Crimson and Matt Morgan. This will hopefully get Matt Morgan and Crimson out of the uh, tag team title division or the tag team title race for the time being and allowing them to continue their feud that they were having uh, so uh, somewhat months ago. Uh, I, did, I didn't mind the feud I don't, and uh, I wouldn't mind seeing it pick back up again either at this point in time. Uh, the the number one contenders match with James Storm and uh, Bully Ray, I ended up really liking, really enjoying. I was glad they got James Storm to be the number one contender in this case because it, 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 this feud with him and Bobby Roode, it, it needs to eventually happen and this will be a good time for it to happen. I don't mind the fact that they already announced it for the, their match to be at lockdown. I, like I said, I don't mind that. This is probably a good place to do it. Is that lockdown? But uh, the the bad thing about that is, is what do you have for Bobby Roode going into Victory Road next? Uh, because that's the next pay per view, and you're kind of diminishing this pay per view by saying, "Hey, there's not going to be a world title match. Why are people going to want to purchase this pay per view now? Is he going to face Sting? Is he going to face somebody else, or is it going to just be some kind of ho hum tag match?" I think they've hurt Victory Road by making this match at lockdown off the bat without doing some kind of match at Victory Road to begin with. But uh, those are just my personal opinions and how I thought uh, how I thought Impact went. And uh, for the most part, I liked what I saw this week. Great, great action again. Um, good X Division, uh, good X Division match, uh, tag team match there. Uh, hopefully, they'll be building up Austin Aries and Zima Ion to be a little bit uh, to be a little bit more, and hopefully, will be a extremely fun and entertaining match whenever they do have the match. Um, hopefully, Victory Road won't be too bad. I mean, like I said, they went off and they've made their world title situation go into lockdown, which is another month after Victory Road. So hopefully the pay-per-view will shape out to be good. But at this point, without a world title match, it kind of, you know, gets thrown into that throwaway pay-per-view type deal. 
But that was my opinions on Impact this week, and I do thank you for watching.